Hello there and welcome. In this video, we are going to do a tour of my latest build for 7 Days to Die. This is called the Kobli Drive-In Hotel slash Motel. But before we go on with the tour, I would like to greet Toxic Subelated. Happy, 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 happy birthday. Mahal na mahal kita. This video is dedicated to you. Well, Kobli means covert, hidden, or secret. So... The main objective of, of this motel or hotel is you do your stuff. You remain anonymous. You don't want to, your car to be seen or whatever. So it's not parked outside. You have your own separate space. So that's the purpose of this hotel. To keep everything anonymous. Keep your identity safe while you do stuff. So let's go and check it out. And we have here my vehicle so we could drive through well not it's not really a drive through but you know what i mean and then we could park our vehicle all right so we are riding our vehicle here and we will my goodness the air pollution the smoke You could see right here, you could see the several garage. So we have the garage um, at the bottom. And you could see, clearly see, above we have the windows, which means that's the room. So I will show you once we enter one of these. We have here one vacant uh, room. I've prepared this earlier, I've checked everything earlier also and I have forgotten that most of the rooms are actually occupied. We will check those later too. But we will not check everything because it's almost the same since oh my goodness. Because this is a hotel so we could um you can't expect each room to be different. There are some variations like the loot and whatever, but of course it's a hotel so most of the rooms are the same. Except for uh, the two themed rooms that we have here and I will show one of them later. So in this room, this is already vacant. The occupants has have just left and we have here a cart, a janitor's cart because the janitor is cleaning up and changing the sheets or, or whatever. But before going up, here we have the stairs and there you go that's the room before we proceed i will just show you everything first from a bird's eye view all right we are out here and i changed the time so we could clearly see everything um this is the roof and that's the layout of the building. Just two buildings, one rectangular building and um, one U-shaped building. There's actually nothing at the back because this uh, prefab is something that I'll be using next time for a map. And I want a map that has compressed, very compressed and dense cities. So... There's actually nothing. Oh my goodness, the lag. There's actually nothing at the back and the sides, so you could easily attach other buildings to it. Okay, so that's it. And um, I've added some extra stuff here, like aircon and uh, some satellite stuff. Before we go back to that room, to that vacant room, and check that room and also other rooms. I will show you first this part of the hotel slash motel. We have here a mini lobby and then a massage area and um, a mini restaurant should you decide to eat because you got hungry or you could just call the front desk and order food or you could also ask that you get the massage inside your room too. But this part is for those who don't have cars and those who can't afford the high um, rates of the other rooms. Um, this is 
where you would find the standard rooms. So like I said, they are the cheap the cheaper alternative you don't if you don't have a car. But here we would call these deluxe rooms because they're special, they're bigger, more spacious and they have complete amenities. So let's go back here and oh my a chicken homie. Let's go back here and check out the room. So this door is already open. So we have here a bathroom. Just a normal bathroom, nothing really special with it. Then we have here, we have a closet. We have here a bed and then some chairs, some um, lamps, and uh, I don't know how you call that, but something that I I really like, uh, an added detail for the lights and all that, because I'm into those stuff. And here we are. So most of the rooms, at least for this entire part, are the same from this building. They're all, or mostly the same with variations for loot and um, the zombies of course but we have zombies off for this tour so you wouldn't see the zombies and like i said some of these are occupied so we have some cars parked inside too like i said the rooms here are almost the same with some variation of the loot and the only difference for these rooms here between the rooms here and the rooms on this part is the paint. So nothing really special. I mean nothing or the, the difference is not that drastic because this is a hotel like I said or a motel. So most of the rooms are the same or they are uniform. So let's go here to this part and I will show you the, the standard rooms. We have six rooms here and it's a very very small room very basic compared to the other rooms but i think this should do if you are on a budget or you have some purpose why you are here you want to stay overnight well even with a partner and all that it's up to you what you do here but at least um you could use it properly you have here a bed and then you have a bathroom too but no um, uh, bathtub. All right. So all the rooms here in this part are the same. The bathrooms also are the same. No, um, not a lot of variation except for the loot. All right. So the last part for this tour is one of the themed rooms but before that i almost forgot we also have here the admin room let's go and check out the admin room this is the admin room and then we have here a small restroom also some loot like they keep all their files here they have some um coffee maker and toaster if they want some snacks and then a locker for the employees and we have here the maintenance room we have a lot of janitor cards and a bulletin board here some supplies and all that and here we have the laundry room where they wash all the sheets the bed sheets the towels and all that so let's go and i will show you the last room we have another room like i said that room up there but i will not show it is for you to check out if you decide to uh, use this prefab in your game put it in your map all right so here we have a parking space also as usual and then let's go up And let's check out this room here. This is a western inspired room. If you want to play it rough and you know 
pretend you're a cowboy, then this room is perfect for you. So we have here some roots, some cabinets, we have some dis designs and all that. We have some horseshoe and then the skull and this bear statue and bear rug. And um, I was kind of also uh, inspired by first is Red Dead and then um, Skyrim with the design of this room. And I'm glad we have the chandelier. We were able to fit the chandelier here. Alright. And of course, this room also has a bathroom and a restroom. Unfortunately, it, we can't be too... Uh, we can't really get into that theme without, of course, putting um, m uh, modern amenities. Otherwise, we won't be able to use, like good toilet bathtub and a good shower so i have those three there also so this is it i hope that you enjoyed the tour and if you want to download just check my nexus page at the description part of my channel so this is it thank you very much bye bye